Hey, what's good, Westworld fans? This is the Confire Crew, and today we're gonna be bringing you a theory video. Did Ford kill Arnold? Okay, just let's take a quick second, okay, and let's appreciate the fact that this show is freaking awesome. All right, any show that can kind of keep you on the edge of your seat, keep you guessing, speculating, theorizing. You know, is this person connected to this person? And like, you can't exactly see where they're going, but you got a lot of ideas about it. And then more often times than not, you just get this, you know, epic moment, like in episode seven. What door? And then you get, you know, old Hannibal Lecter sending the to kill Teresa. Amazing. Okay, not to mention the fact that Maeve is like, you know what? I'm done being controlled. Give me control over the holes. Let me get my little army together. Oh, and they kind of changed my uh, my basic code. <laughs> I can hurt you now. Great stuff, okay? Look, this video is going to be a little bit different. We normally do a review, but today we're going to be doing a theory. Let us know if you enjoyed our reviews because we can continue doing those. Um, if you like the theory video and the episode, that's cool. We can probably bring you both. Go back and watch our episode reviews over one or two of them and kind of look at our style. If you enjoy that, let us know and we will, like I said, we'll do an episode and a theory video, okay? Also, I got a theory that I kind of want to tack on to the end of this video real quick. I got a question I want to ask you guys and I am dying to know your feedback about it because I think it's pretty... Um, I think it's pretty good, and I want to know, so stay to the end of the video, I'm going to ask y'all a question, and I, I need some feedback on it, okay? Well, let's go ahead and jump into this theory, did Ford kill Arnold? Episode 7 and episode 8 was surprising enough, but I just couldn't help but think that they pretty much spelled out the fact that Ford had Arnold killed. Is this what happened to Arnold? Did you have Bernard take him out into the woods? No, he wasn't here in those days. Were you Bernard? One man's life or death, there was but a small price to pay for the acquirement of the knowledge which I sought. You're not the first man to threaten me. Arnold came to feel the way you do. He couldn't stop me either. What we know so far is that, you know, Arnold is the co-creator of the host and the technology that's used, okay? And 40 or so something years ago, he died of a mysterious accident or whatever. Now, what I find very interesting that, you know, we saw in episode 7 and 8 is that um, the, a similar type of accident just befell upon our beloved Teresa. We know there was no accident. Mother freaking Bernard smashed her face in. But, you know, we saw that they set it up where she fell in the same place with the woodchopper and died and died while she was trying to smuggle out information. Pretty clever. But, you know, we know the truth since we saw it. Now, Ford indicated that Teresa was not the first to come and try to take his creations. And this tells us two things. One, that some other people have met possibly the same fate as Teresa. And two, that Ford has no qualms about having him or maybe even possibly his creations kill. Now, this is when it starts to get interesting. If you remember, go back a few episodes when Ford had a conversation with Dolores. He was asking her questions in particular about the day that Arnold died. I'm sure you remember him. Arnold, the person who created you. Now, if you remember, she didn't tell him anything important, but she did after he left, tell the voice that he didn't say anything. He doesn't know. I didn't tell him anything. Which we assume the voice is either Arnold himself or somehow tied to Arnold. But the fact that Ford was so interested in what she remembered with all the host remembering makes you think that he's trying to check and cover his tracks to make sure she doesn't remember what happened. Now, this past episode, we saw Ford use his creations to kill. What's to say he didn't use Dolores in the same way to kill Arnold? Now, why would he kill Arnold? Arnold, as far as we're concerned, seems like a nice guy. I mean, he did this cool thing for Ford. He created this, you know, memory from his past with the, with the host 
where he's a little, little Ford and his parents and all this stuff. The only happy memory that Ford had, he said this. But the why was also revealed in this episode. And that is Ford doesn't want to lose control. Even more sublime is the ability to turn it off. Now the board has come in and they want to take control of his creations. Whereas Arnold wanted to free the creations. It's very telling. It's like the tale of two gods. You have Arnold and you have Ford. Arnold wanted to give his creation free will. Whereas Ford wanted to control it and keep them safe under his control. Here's the theory or, or question that I kind of want to tack on. And I really would like some feedback at the end of this because I'm curious to know what you guys think. Let's just operate under the assumption that Ford sent Dolores to kill Arnold. Okay, he's asking her questions and things like that. But we know that she's holding some information from him. And what exactly is that information? Look, there's only two scenarios. Either Arnold's dead or he's not dead. Okay. But let's just say that Ford sent Dolores and she killed him, okay? But Arnold's original code, the code, underlining code that he wrote that only he knows or that only he can do that I don't even think Ford actually understands is that the host would eventually reach a point of consciousness, right? That they would have free will, okay? We see it happening. You see Teddy remembering. You see Dolores remembering. Obviously Maeve. Um, so... Heck, Maeve's already reached that point. She reached it back when she had her little girl and actually attacked the man in black, right? She reached the center of the maze. And, you know, I believe the center of the maze is a self of consciousness that once they reach that, they are, you know, they start obtaining free will. Now, Arnold's code could have been designed to eventually get to that point on their own in a more natural way. He wanted to create consciousness. See, Arnold built a version of their cognition in which the hosts heard their programming as a, an inner monologue with the hopes that in time their own voice would take over as a way to bootstrap consciousness. And that he's actually dead, but they're hearing his voice and that's their consciousness, right? They're just hearing their own consciousness through his voice and the code that he wrote. So he's dead, but his vision for the host is still coming true because of how he programmed them initially. That's one thought. I'd like to know what you think about that. I'm kind of leaning that way, but listen to this one. This one's a little bit more crazy, and that is when Dolores went to kill Arnold, maybe he foresaw this coming, and he transferred his consciousness over to another host. It's not that crazy to think. I mean, you saw what they did with Bernard. They gave him a backstory. He thought it was real. He actually is working on the host. He thinks he's a real person. He's Real people think he's real. It's not crazy to think that Arnold took his own real life backstory, his own memories, his own consciousness, and put it into his own host, right? And then Dolores killed his actual physical body, but his mind lives on. And that's the secret that Dolores is not telling, right? And that like, she kind of knows that in the background somewhere. I'm not, I, I don't think that's crazy. The only other option is that, um, he, he gave up a host that he's physically alive. And that's assuming they found a body. I, I would feel like Ford would need to see a body that the people would need to see a body. Otherwise, it'd be like he mysteriously disappeared. You know, why is it so prevalent that he's dead? I, I feel like there was a body there. And I don't think it could have been a host body because at that time, the hosts were more mechanical on the inside than they are now. So my vote is either he's actually dead and his consciousness is living on through his code or he's alive mentally and he put it himself into a hose. I might actually do a video about that because I think I have some stuff that could possibly support that. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see a video on that because I think I could put a pretty decent one out. But guys, what do you think, man? Is Ford even dead? I'm, I'm sorry, not Ford, excuse me. Is Arnold even dead? And if he is, did Ford have him killed by Dolores? Would love to know what you think. And again, let me know if you want us to continue doing the episode reviews because we can do that as well. Um, guys, that's pretty much the video for today. Tomorrow we have a Game of Thrones video. We are doing the uh, Deity of the Seven. It's the last one. And we are talking about The Stranger. And it's the one we've been waiting for the most, which is why we saved it to last. So if you're Game of Thrones fans, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Like this video if you like the video. Man, share the video out, whatever it is. Help a brother out. 
we out here trying to do the dang thing. I'd love to sit here and like make videos all day long. But anyway, guys, until next time, we out.